It's more like they're being very careful this time around. After so many setbacks, it's almost like they're being methodical with this particular test. Uh, you know, they do have their differences on the way to move forward. A mile below the surface, BP's runaway well looks quiet, but the new cap is leaking. And two miles away, something is coming up from the seafloor. The small seepages we are finding right now do not uh, present, at least at this point, any indication that there is a threat to, to the well bore. The leak in the cap is causing ice crystals to form, but it's not a problem yet either. The pressure is now above 6,800 pounds per square inch and continues to slowly rise. It's a good sign. So good, on Sunday, BP's Doug Suttles even said the well could stay closed until it's plugged for good. We're hopeful that if the, uh, if the encouraging signs continue, we'll be able to continue the integrity test all the way to the point that we get the, um, the well killed. The government wasn't happy with that or with BP's follow through on testing for and reporting problems. Incident Commander Thad Allen ordered BP to report back faster within four hours of finding something unusual. We made significant progress over the last 24 hours. That is the reason we're proceeding with the next 24. Scientists are still trying to figure out why the pressure in the well is lower than they had hoped. Is the oil reservoir itself low, as BP believes, or is the well leaking deep in the rock? If it is, the buildup of pressure could make the leak worse, especially close to the source. Here in Grand Isle, they're not waiting for answers. This boom, which has protected the beach from oil for months, is now being taken apart, stacked up, and cleared away for tourists. Tar-stained sand is being scrubbed clean, and the town's fire chief is now fighting to save the tourist season instead of fending off oil. It's not over, but we are moving forward. You know, there is daylight at the end of the tunnel. What if that oil starts flowing again? I guess we start all over. If there is a problem and that well has to be reopened, oil would flow into the Gulf, not just for hours, but for days before containment ships could be reconnected. Katie? Kelly Cobayea in Grand Isle, Louisiana tonight. Kelly, thanks very much.